Okay, how to pass the GED in 2017. So I'm going to give you uh, five excellent tips here and um, kind of get into, you can kind of see the tips uh, laid out, but I'm going to kind of get into uh, each one of them uh, in some detail. So let me just say the, the first thing is, um, I think it's, there's some misconceptions out there that, uh, you know, the GED, you know, for a lot of people, it's just, too difficult uh, to pass, you know, especially if you had a tough time in school, you know, for a lot of people, they really uh, sell themselves short and they, you know, don't really give themselves a lot of hope um, that they're going to even, you know, um, you know, be able to pass a GED. I'm going to tell you right now, 100% of the people listening to this, if you're out there, you can pass, okay? You may not you may pass by one point, but you can definitely pass and it won't take you forever to do as well. So, you know, if that, uh, you know, resonates with, uh, you know, you on the other end of this uh, video, you know, uh, let me go ahead and lay out some um, uh, some things that you want to be um, kind of the mindset you want in order to kind of get this done in 2017. All right. So the first thing is you're going to have to get serious. All right. <laughs> so it can't be you can't be thinking about the GED in terms of, you um, you know, oh yeah, you know, I need to pass. I want to pass. You know, can I pass? You know, a lot of people, you know, contemplate and they spend years thinking about this. But that's not what I'm talking about. You know, you getting serious means that you're making a decision. Like I am going to start studying. I'm going to put in the time and effort it takes to actually pass the GED. So that's the first thing. You're going to have to make a decision and get serious. And like I said, um, everybody can pass the GED. Everybody, no matter. You know, where, you know, you left off in school, you can do this. Now, that brings me to my second uh, point. You're also going to have to study every day. So you really want to stay away from uh, gimmicks. Um, there's things out there called uh, diploma mills. So they're not really about um, the GED per se. They're about, hey, you can get your high school diploma in, in one week or, you know, pay $300 and get your diploma. Uh, I'll tell you right now, those things are so dangerous to your future because if you do get some sort of diploma and then you go in and use that, submit it for like a vocational training um, or like a, an employer and say, hey, here's my um, you know, high school diploma or, or equivalency, they know um, that these documents or these uh, diplomas per se come from what they call diploma mills which are basically fake diplomas. So you, you need to do it the right way, okay? If you're going to get a uh, high school equivalency, and that's what the GED is, and you have to go, for those people who get a regular high school diploma, they have to, um, you know, go to school for four years. You know, you can't really have the mindset that, well, I'm just going to, you know, uh, take a test and, I, and I'll be able to kind of say that I, you know, have the same equivalency as somebody who actually did their high school diploma. So what am I saying here? You know, you're going to have to put in the time and study every day, but you're not going to have to study every day for um, four years as well. But you do have to become a student. You need to get into the student um, mind frame. And I think that's basically where number one and two points here. Um, it has to do with your psychology. So you do have to become a student for some period of time. Now, the next thing is, is you got to study effective material. So yeah, you're a student, but now nobody's really telling you what to what to study. You're gonna have to, you know, for a lot of you out there, you're gonna be doing this on your own. Now there are programs, there are adult um, school programs or adult education programs, maybe in your local um, area, and you certainly should take advantage of those. But those are not necessarily the most um, effective ways for a lot of people um, to get their GED. Now a lot for some people they work great, but for other people mm, the program may not be effective for you. So you're going to have to study effective material. I would recommend um, getting yourself a, um, a good GED uh, workbook, uh, let's say go on Amazon from like a major publisher, like um, um, you'll see them out there. If you just say GED uh, workbook where they have uh, study material and um, practice exams, you need to get a book like that. Make the investment. It's you're going to probably spend maybe $20. Okay. Now, let me kind of get into something specific here. Those books generally cover or are able to help um, most uh, people get through all the topics but one. Okay, so here, let me just put here, get yourself a book. Now, if you can't even get yourself a book, you might be able to check one out um, 
at the local library for free. So don't forget about that. So and make sure it's up to date. Make sure it's up to date. It's not a 2010 and like an old, old version. Although I will say some of those older books will still give you a lot of benefit. Uh, okay, but you do want to get yourself an up to date book. Now, uh, the number one uh, topic, okay, in the GED that gives that that causes most people to not have their GED is math. All right. So math is one of those unusual type of um, situations where you know, having great study material sometimes is not enough. So what you want to do is get yourself uh, a, a tutor or a teacher. Now, the thing about it is, you know, that, that costs a lot of money. So you can use some free resources. Okay, YouTube is obviously uh, excellent. But let me go ahead and give you um, my free GED uh, math course, all right? And that's, I'll just write it up here, GED Math Lessons. Dot com. All right. So that's a completely free, uh, extensive, proven uh, uh, math course that you can get, take. Now, just my background is I taught, I'm a, a math teacher by trade, taught middle school all the way through uh, college. Um, you know, I have a degree in math, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to be in good hands. And that's the thing. You want to get a highly qualified teachers to help you or, or tutor. You don't want to have somebody say, well, yeah, I passed. Just because somebody passed a GED doesn't necessarily you know, mean that they're going to be qualified to teach you or tutor you, or even if they have a college degree, especially with some of these more difficult uh, topics, like say for for math, for instance. So let's just kind of leave it here uh, for number three, studying effective material. You need to study yourself a good up-to-date book that has practice exams. Then when it comes to math, you want to get yourself in some sort of basic math uh, course where there's a teacher teaching the material. I would strongly recommend uh, my site, but there's other sites out there that could work for you as well. All right, let's get to point number four. And point number four is to take uh, a lot of practice tests. So you need to take a lot of practice tests. <laughs> I'm kind of reiterating that again. Um, now, once you start taking practice tests, I would say maybe after... Um, you could take one initially just to kind of see where you're at and grade it, and then maybe take practice test every, I would say, three weeks or so, okay? Um, see how you're progressing and look at the results. See where you're making progress. See where you are where you need to, um, you know, uh, continue to, to improve. So you, the practice test, one, get, uh, gets you used to the test kind of format and test questions. And I can tell you that in these really big publisher books, GD books, Oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes, actual GED questions will show up on the actual GED will be in this book. Now, they might be changed a little bit, but you'll be surprised when you go take the GED. Like, wow, I thought I saw that question someplace before. And, um, you know, you might get a, um, a question in these practice books that are very, very similar to it. That's why it's critical that you take as, uh, as many practice tests as possible. Okay. If you get one of these books, you should take at a minimum. I mean, at a very minimum, you should take three, all right? And these are the full full practice tests where you sit down and, you know, you put the time in and actually take the test. And you should do it like actual, um, like a test-taking environment, you know. Um, get yourself used to taking exams. So let's just kind of summarize where we're at. Number one and number two is you got to get used to being a student for, for a while. Number three is, hey, when you're – studying what you got to make sure you're studying good stuff okay and number four is you're going to have to get used to taking tests especially if you, if you haven't been in um academic environment for um a, you know a period of time so last but not least is don't give yourself a lot of time to pass the ged so irrespective of your starting point okay give yourself i would say for those students out there who, um, or for those of you out there who really really say lack confidence or, you know, just feel like you got to go over everything, I would say give yourself a maximum of six months. Okay. So that would be the worst case for all of you out there. You can do it if you're studying every day. Now, let me kind of go back to point number two, studying every day, study as much as you can. Really, you're not going to um, have any effective studying uh, anything under a half hour. So try to study at least a half hour maybe an hour, that'd be good. But if you did that um, every day, you know, including a little bit on the weekends, most of you out there, even if you're starting from a very weak point, could have a real shot of passing in six months for sure, 
right? So I would say for those of you that are, are good on a lot of topics, you could probably even do it with, say, th three months, okay? So don't give yourself a lot of time. Now, some of you might think, well, that is a lot of time. Well, you know, once again, the GED, especially uh, the current GED, is much more difficult than what it used to be. So they're not just giving these, um, uh, you know, passing scores away. You actually have to earn them. And in some ways, it's going to give you more credibility, um, you know, for your uh, purposes of what you want your GD for any, you know, additional training. You know, people are going to you know, look upon it much more favorably that you um, actually passed. But anyways, um, I hope this uh, video helped you out. You know, for sure, come on over to my free uh, uh, site here, my, my GD Math Lessons. I have just an excellent, excellent track record. So many people have gone through this. It's completely free. Um, so this will definitely help you with math, okay? And please, I post a lot of stuff on, on my site, uh, math, science videos, and stuff that can um, uh, help you out. So uh, please subscribe to my channel. And by the way, I will put the link to my um, site uh, in the description to this video. All right, good luck to yourself.